Hey healers, just wanted to respond to this commenter uh, from a video a few days ago where I was talking about how sometimes people's energy jumps out at me and how I sort of connect what I can see to synesthesia. And, uh, you know, yes, sure, R is definitely part of it. The, the problem that we really have or that I have daily is that there isn't a lot of language, English language particularly, to describe or explain what I see in people's energy bodies. That is, it is a constant challenge for me. And we do have a few words. Aura is one of them. Although Aura has a lot of different meanings, depending on who you're talking to and what they mean by it. But generally the the term Aura means like the, the um, outside of the energy body. What does that look like, that bubble that we're in? Which, sure, you know, that, that's one of those terms we can use. Chakra is another term um, that's, you know, used and also uh, used in a lot of different ways and with differing meanings in, in different cultures and in different practices. But they're the, the seven main energy centers of the body are said to be chakra, which means spinning wheel, you know, we know this is all from the yogic tradition, but there's a lot more than that in the energy system. And you'll see that over time, if you work with me, if you want to learn more about your energy body, if you have something you need to heal and want some assistance with that, that there are a lot of different layers to the energy body. And say, for example, you go for acupuncture and they, they call it chi. It's the same thing. It's our energy. There are lots of different terms, but I don't want to limit what I see or what anyone else sees or experiences to the terms that we have that are for energy because it's not enough. It's not even close to being enough. One of the things that I find myself doing is that I liken, thing, liken our energy system to other systems. So the an electrical system, you know, something will look like it's a short, like a, like an electrical short, or there will be a clog, plumbing comes up, chimney sweeping comes up for me. It becomes a little more utilitarian, but I think it's important for us to acknowledge that we don't have great language for this. And talking about it is really important because we need to develop better language, better understanding. We know what these things feel like. We know what it means when you say, ooh, I didn't get a good vibe off from that person. We all know what that feels like. But what does that actually mean, right? That's a big pursuit of mine. 